All right, so assignment number two. The second workshop that I'm gonna be um, helping y'all figure out or giving y'all some tips or some suggestions of what you can do if you got a camera at home, if you got a camera cell phone, um, or you can borrow somebody's cell phone to be able to take pictures. This is just an introduction to some photography, some things to think about if you got an interest in taking pictures or if you just bored at home and you just want something to do creative, this is the perfect assignment for you. All right, so, um, so I created a, a, a photo scavenger hunt. And ultimately, I mean, it's, it's like, it's, that's what it is. It's a scavenger hunt. So ultimately you're gonna be at home um, and there'll be certain things that you'll be looking for. So the list of things that you'll be looking for on your scavenger hunt, hopefully you had a chance to be able to interact with the, the visual elements workshop that, I, that gets uploaded prior to this one that'll help you out a lot in approaching this scavenger hunt. All right, so first thing, um, use daylight. You know, the easiest thing to do when you're using these cell phone cameras to get the, the best quality that the camera can actually produce is daylight. Daylight is all of the light that's coming in from one of the windows, you know? So ultimately you're using window light. Some people call it available light. Now, if I'm saying use daylight to, to, to get the full strength of what the camera can do, it means, you know, try not to take none of these pictures at night, you know, unless you, unless that's the only thing you can do is take those pictures at night. So if you got to hit a light switch on, that's not daylight. That is what some people call um, well, it's, it's like it's artificial light. You know, if it has a light bulb, if it's over your head, if it's in the house, all that is considered artificial light. These cameras perform the best using daylight. So, you know, just know that. That's just a little tip. These pictures come out really, really, really nicely if you use available light or daylight. So these, this is the list of things that I want you to look for at home. And I want you to photograph something that represents these things. I want you to look for, let me see. I want you to photograph something that you love. You know, however you see that, whatever comes to mind, whatever that was that popped in your head when I said something that you really, really love, that you have access to at home, I want you to take a picture of that, all right? I want you to photograph something that makes you angry. I want you to photograph something that if you could, you could change it. And then I want you to photograph something that you can't change. Photograph the oldest person around you, and I want you to photograph the youngest person around you. Take a picture of a relaxing place. I want you to photograph out of one window. I want you to photograph how you travel. So how do you move through the world? I want you to photograph one reflection, and I want you to photograph one shadow. These, there's no right or wrong with any of these photographs. These photographs are all about you seeing something and being able to recreate it in a way that the person looking at your picture will look at your picture for at least 45 seconds. That's the goal. Can you take a picture of something or can you take a picture of nothing in a way that people want to look at the photograph? All right. That's assignment number two. Scavenger hunt. Send me the, in, the images on Instagram. It's D Black Originals. Um, and if you send me a message on Instagram, I'll start to accumulate the photographs. There'll be a final presentation of all the photographs that everybody send. So just send all your photographs to D Black Originals on Instagram. Um, if you're not on Instagram, then you need to be trying to send an email to dblack at donaldblackjr.com. So send photographs to the email address only if you don't have Instagram. The easiest way for me to find your photographs is for you to send them to me on Instagram. You shouldn't have to tell me what the image, what the images are about, um, I should be able to tell the assignment based on the images that you send. 